This is the Rotations Tutorial. In geometry when we discuss rotations, what we're typically discussing is rotations inside the coordinate plane. And there are two types of rotations that are common at this level of geometry. The first is a 90 degree rotation. And the second is a 180 degree rotation. Now I'm going to teach you how to do a 90 degree rotation first and then we'll move on to the 180 degree rotation. In order to show you how to do a 90 degree rotation, I'm going to bring in a figure. I'm going to bring in the diamond shaped figure here, which is rhombus WXYZ. Now in geometry, if we were going to rotate this rhombus WXYZ 90 degrees, what would happen with the X and Y coordinate of each of the points W, X, Y, and Z is that they would flip so Y would come before the X now and the Y would actually be negative. So let me show you what I mean by that. We'll do our work over here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and write out the points over here on the right and their location in the coordinate plane. We'll begin with W. So W is at the point negative 7, negative 5. and x is at the point negative 6, negative 3. y, if you count over from the origin, is at negative 5, negative 5. And lastly, z is at the coordinate negative 6, negative 7. So if we were going to rotate each of these points 90 degrees, we want to go ahead and take this action right here. We're going to switch the location of the x and y, and we're going to flip the y to the sign opposite of whatever it currently has. So in this case, negative 7, negative 5, we're going to flip-flop these two points so that we have negative 5, negative 7, and then remember, Whatever the y was, we now change the sign of it to the opposite sign. So if it was negative 5, it now becomes positive 5. Let's do the same for the x. So the x coordinate was at negative 6, negative 3. So now it's going to be negative 3, negative 6. And remember, we flip that old y coordinate, which is now the x coordinate. So the sign changes to the opposite of whatever it was. It was negative 3, now it's positive 3. Let's change y now. It was negative 5, negative 5, so now it's going to be still negative 5, negative 5. But we switch that old y coordinate, so now it's positive 5. And I know it looks like it's the x, but it was the old y. Lastly was z. It was negative 6, negative 7. So now it's going to be negative 7, comma, negative 6. And remember, we switch that sign. So it's actually positive 7. So now let's go ahead and draw these new points. The new w is at positive 5, negative 7. So we go 5 to the right of the origin and 7 down. And we plot a point right there. The new x is at positive 3, negative 6. So we go 3 to the right of the origin and 6 down. The new y is at 5, negative 5. So 5 to the right and 5 down. And the new z is at 7, negative 6, so 7 to the right of the origin, and 6 down. So those are the new w, x, y, and z, and we can go ahead and connect them to form the new rhombus x, y, z, w, prime, or w, x, y, z, prime. So that's how you create a rotation of 90 degrees for a figure. You switch the x and y coordinates, and you flip the sign of the y coordinate to the opposite of whatever it was. Now let's go back and look at that 180 degree rotation. So with 180 degree rotation, we have our point x comma y. And each point of x comma y, we're going to translate now to negative x comma negative y. So we don't switch the positions, we just switch the sign in front of the x and y. So I'll go ahead and draw in a figure. I'm going to draw in rectangle a, b, c, d. And we want to rotate that figure 180 degrees. So we'll take the original points and I'll draw them over here on the left. We have point A, which is at the coordinate point, negative 9, positive 9. 
And then we have point B, which is at negative 6, positive 9. And point C, which is at negative 9, 7. And lastly, point D, which is at negative 6, 7. Now we want to rotate this figure about 180 degrees. So that means we need to change each of these points. And remember, we're going to keep the position of x and y the same. We're just going to flip the sign. So a, the original point, was negative 9, positive 9. So now it's going to be positive 9, negative 9. We just switch the signs. b was negative 6, positive 9. So now it's positive 6, negative 9. c was negative 9, positive 7. So now it's 9, negative 7. And d was negative 6, comma 7. So now it's positive 6, comma negative 7. Now that we've rotated each point, let's plot them. So a is at 9, negative 9, so we'll go 9 to the right and 9 down, right there. b is at 6, negative 9, so we'll go 6 to the right and 9 down. c is at 9, negative 7, so 9 to the right and 7 down. And d is at 6, negative 7, so 6 to the right and 7 down. So now we'll just connect those points. And you'll see figure A, B, C, D prime. So in geometry, that's how you rotate a figure 180 degrees. And that's all we have it to rotations in geometry.